everybody welcome back to my channel and if you're new hi my name is Benny Abiola welcome so I know it's been a while since I've been here on my channel however I am back uh, I felt the need to kind of step away from YouTube for a while because for my mental health um I've just been like dealing with a lot of stuff like in my head as well as just a lot of things have been going on working a lot um freelancing um as well as just like other like personal things that has to do with like my family and my friends so i've been like basically just living my life and being with them so update my birthday just passed so um i'm 26 now i guess it still feels the same as before um did travel a little bit so that's kind of where i've been at anyways i am back and i'm gonna start off with a bang and share with you guys a perfume haul um i did a perfume video i think at the beginning of summertime and yeah you guys really really liked it but i have since accumulated more fragrances since that video all right um i've accumulated more fragrances and i thought i would just share them with you guys um i think i have how many one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine twenty ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine twenty ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen i have here to show you guys today so if you're interested in seeing my latest perfume picks please keep on watching and if you are not please stop right here it's not worth your time and effort also check out my sweatshirt this is such a cute sweatshirt this was a birthday gift um that i got from someone very close to me it says be fearlessly authentic I just love this shirt and it's super comfortable too so um if you see me wearing this in a lot of videos it's just a very comfortable shirt i love wearing it while i'm in the house um but yeah i just ugh, love this shirt um i don't know where the person got it but like if i can get like the website or anything i will link it in the description bar below Let's get into the fragrances so i'm just kind of gonna like i think go randomly i guess okay guys so the first two like perfumes are the ariana grande cloud perfumes um i got a lot of people recommending me these because baccarat rouge i talked about baccarat rouge in my last perfume video by the way i finished that bottle <laughs> um yeah i wasn't really feeling it um but i finished it and now that i finished it i want it again but Oh well, but I got the Ariana Grande perfumes. Um, I got Cloud and Cloud 2.0. So um, I really like using Cloud as like a nighttime bed scent. It's very light, it's very fresh, it's sweet, gourmand, beautiful scent. And then Cloud 2.0 is basically like Cloud, but there are a couple additional notes in this one. Oh, so let me pull up the information. So, um, the notes in Cloud are, the top notes are Lavender Blossom, Juicy Pear and Bergamot, the heart is Creme de Coconut, Indulgent Praline, Vanilla Orchid, and then the base is Central Musk and Creamy Blonde Woods. Um, this is a very, like, gourmand sweet scent, but it's not, like, super sweet to the point that I can't stomach it. And then Cloud 2.0 Intense is basically the same notes except the um base notes has two additional notes which is dry cashmere and ambroxan so you get kind of a more like deeper richer muskier feel um in this one i feel like this one is more like day actual like going out daytime being outside appropriate it's supposed to be the intense version of the first one and obviously you can see that the colors are inverted really really like this set just for like a regular like everyday out set and then this one is good for like a bedtime i'm about to go into bed i want to smell nice 
scent. So yeah, I picked these two up. If you haven't picked up the Ariana Grande perfumes, what are you doing? Um, also, with the, with the Cloud perfume, when I smelled this the first time, I didn't like it. And then I smelled it the second time, and I was like, it's not bad. And then the third time, I was like, oh, this is actually really nice. I think because, like, every time I went into Ulta to smell it, um, like, other people were spraying a lot of other perfumes around, and I, it was giving me a headache. But um, I, it, it grew on me. It grew on me, and I really, really like them. So next up, we have the Fenty Perfume. So, um, this came out, when did this come out? Late July, early August? I can't remember. But the Fenty Perfume, this is Rihanna's Fenty Beauty Perfume. I've used a significant amount of this. This sold out and is still out of stock. Um, but I actually really like this. Uh, I don't know if I talked about it in my last video that I typically go for like spicy, sweet, gourmand scents and florals, but this is a floral scent. To me, this perfume, it wasn't what I expected um, Rihanna to come out with for her first like actual perfume with Fenty. She has released other perfumes before, but it wasn't what I expected her to come out with her own brand. Um, the notes in here are magnolia, musk, tangerine, blueberry, Bulgarian rose, absolute geranium, and patchouli. To me, it's definitely not what you expected, like I said. Some people don't like this. I actually really like it. It's definitely, I can smell the rose and I think that is what is bringing me into this as well as the musk. I love a good musk. Musk for me is one of those notes that grew on me over the last few months. It's a really good skin scent. So to me, this is a really good skin scent and I've also layered it with a lot of other perfumes as well. I love layering it with um, YSL Black Opium, which is like, my favorite perfume I've gone through a f I'm almost finished with my full bottle of that but um and then also um black tulip by Shan blue those are like my favorite perfumes but these this layers very well with those two so I really really enjoy this scent a lot again like it is not made for everybody and also this is tooted as a unisex perfume. So if you want to get this perfume, um, I don't know when it's coming back in stock, but get it. But I would say get a sample of it first if you can, because you may or may not like it. It's either like like or dislike. It's not really like you can be in the middle about it. But. Okay, so next up I have Kayali. I picked up two of their fragrances. Um, Utopia Vanilla Cocoa I picked up I think in late July, early August. And then Invite Only 23 I picked up I think maybe like a month, month and a half ago, probably like late August, early September, I think. But I'm gonna start off with Utopia Vanilla Cocoa. Um, I'm not a really big coconut note person. Um, it smells really good. It smells like a tropical vacation. I've used like that much of it already. It smells so, so good. It literally smells like a tropical vacation. Um, love it, love it, love it, love it. So the key notes in here are coconut milk, which like I said, I'm not a really big coconut note person. I don't really like coconut, but I actually like it in this. Um, pear blossom, honeysuckle, and Italian lemon. The middle notes are jasmine sandbag, gardenia, which I was very like shocked when I saw that this had gardenia in this because um, since I had COVID, like anything that had gardenia in it, I could not stand. Like I, it's just that one note, like it has affected my nose. Like gardenia used to be really nice smelling to me no I can't stand it but this has it in there and I love this so I was very surprised um tuberose and embrat and then the base notes in here are bourbon vanilla sandalwood musk and patchouli um out of the Kayali fragrances that I have I have four yes I have four uh I would say this is my least favorite but I still really like this fragrance a lot 
it's still a really good fragrance so if you like uh kind of like you want that tropical vibe you'll get it in this one um i bought this when it initially launched so that's why i have the smaller bottle compared to invite only but i think once i finish this bottle i will get a big bottle i really really like this um if i really want that true tropical vibe i like layering this with with mac aquatic and then we have invite only um invite only this is their latest release their eighth release in the kali line um this is an amber spicy based perfume the top notes are sour cherry tobacco leaf honey chocolate hazelnut the middle notes are ceylon cinnamon which ceylon is actually just sri lanka um may rose damask rose citrus leaf and then the base notes are amber agarwood or oud Vanilla, benzoin, uh, cypriol oil, or nagamatha. I have no idea what that note is. Patchouli, musk, and sandalwood. So this fragrance, oh my god. This is such a sexy fragrance. Like, it is very sexy. Like, sexy, 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 sexy. I love the smell of it. Um i love the sour cherry note because cherry is like my favorite flavor of candy so i can smell the sour cherry and i can smell the tobacco leaf right away and i can smell the cinnamon um this one of the base notes in this like i said is oud i'm not a really big oud person either like oud can be very strong and too woody on me and it doesn't agree with my body chemistry but in this it agrees very very well with my body chemistry also this fragrance i got a little decant of um tom ford lost cherry and this and lost cherry just goals just absolute goals it's literally like cherry liqueur lounge it just gives like you're going to a lounge vibes and you want to smell good like oh, it smells wonderful it smells absolutely phenomenal um also this fragrance pairs really 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 well with um ysl black opium extreme black opium extreme is not super sweet like the original black opium it's i think more unisex that one but that pairs very well with this also ladies all right ladies gentlemen ladies gentle thems everybody if you want to smell like marriage all right my friend andrea told me to layer this with uh kaoli vanilla marriage all right marriage scent marriage proposal vibes that's what this and vanilla give when you layer them together like literally when i would wear this and vanilla like out and about i was getting men stopping me just randomly just stopping me like you smell really really nice like what is that and i'm just like oh it's just this they're just like yo like it's a head turner so this and vanilla by kayali layer them together you will not regret it at all Re not at all not okay so next up we have this is actually my first ellis brooklyn perfume this is called super amber i think it's their latest release um i have never really been into ellis brooklyn perfumes i really wanted to get the one called b however when i smelled it it did not smell nice to me Again, my nose has significantly changed since since the beginning of this year, but I really liked the smell of this. Um, it's a cool, spicy perfume. I'm used to warm spices, but this kind of like cools things down. The main notes in here are amber, musk, vanilla orchid, and Virginia cedar, so it's very woody. Um, to me... On some days it smells really vanilla-y and other days it smells very woody. I've used a significant amount of it. It's like to here already. Um, really like it, but it, it 
changes based on my body chemistry for the day. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't like it. I actually picked this one up using like my Sephora Rouge Reward and it was like I really like it. Would I necessarily purchase it again? Probably not. Um, but I like it. it. It's like it's one of those ones you just kind of like like or dislike. You don't really like sit in between. It's like you like it one day, you don't like it the next. But I really, 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 really like um, this. It smells really nice. Um, to me, when it, on the days that it smells really woody, I always pair it with the vanilla. I'll pair it with like Kayali vanilla. Um, yeah, I'll pair it with like Kayali vanilla just to sweeten it up a bit. Um, really like this fragrance. This I think is better for fall. Um, as well as I think this leans more masculine as well. So men, if you want a new cologne that's more on like the woody, but it's musky too, you'll probably really like this one. But yeah. So next up we have two fragrances from Skylar Beauty. They actually did send me these. So thank you Skylar Beauty for these fragrances. There was a third one called Pink Canyon, but I gave that to my mom because she liked it. Um, but yeah, I have these two fragrances. So I have Vanilla Sky and Isle Escape. I'm gonna start off with Vanilla Sky. This is literally a, a, a fall day in a bottle. You're at home, you're just chilling with a blanket, a cup of tea, and a good book, or a cup of coffee, or a caramel macchiato, whatever hot drink that you like to drink in the fall. It's that with a good book, and you're burritoed up in a blanket, literally. This is so, 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 so good. It just gives me cozy vibes. Um, the top notes in here are cappuccino, sweet orange, and bergamot. The middle notes are vanilla, cinnamon, and Spanish jasmine. And then the base notes are caramel, sandalwood, cedar, and amber. Um, and it is an amber vanilla fragrance. So you do kind of get a little bit of woodiness in there because you know the weather's changing, which kind of gives that vibe of the coziness. And then the cinnamon and vanilla and caramel make it really sweet. It's not like super candy sweet so i really really like this fragrance um it's a really good daytime fragrance and it's not like a heavy vanilla it's not like a really heavy spicy vanilla it's a very light spicy one like i said think of like a chai latte caramel macchiato but it's not like super deeply spicy and the next one we have is isle escape i really like this one for bedtime um it's like a woody aqua-y perfume like normally for me i don't go towards something like this but it's really really nice for a bedtime smell it smells like vacation it smells like vacation um you have sea notes which again it smells like vacation sea notes so that saltiness cardamom sandalwood and bergamot so yeah, this is very like tropical vacation. I'm at the beach for the day. Really, really like it. You smell clean with this. Um, I really like layering this primarily with MAC Turquatic. Um, I'll talk about Turquatic later on, but like I'm realizing I like a lot of aquatic scents because to me they smell fresh and clean. So I really, really like this one. I also have a sampler pack from Skylar Beauty too with a few of, of their other scents. And I actually really like Blood Oranges and Salt Air. Salt Air literally smells, Salt Air, like the beach, literally. It sm literally smells like you're by a beach, you know, by you're nearby the ocean because it smells salty. That's what it smells like. And I really like it. Um, and then Blood Oranges was really, really nice. It was like a sweet, it smelled like orange juice to me. And I really like that. So maybe later on I'll pick those two up um, at a future date, but I really, really, really like those. So the next fragrance that I have is MAC Turquatic. And the notes in here are water notes, lotus, amalfi lemon, virginia cita, anemone, and orris root. This is a unisex fragrance, so anybody can wear this. I really love this fragrance. Um, I just bought it recently, but I've smelled it several times, like last year. And 
I really like this. This is something I wouldn't I wouldn't think to go to when it comes to a uh, perfume, but it smells beautiful. Like it smells just really fresh and clean. I like using this perfume as a bedtime scent um, for the days that I want to smell like laundry and like fresh laundry and it smells so, so good. Um, love the packaging. Obviously you have like, it's just aquatic. Like it's so good. And like, like I knew MAC did fragrances, but like I had no idea how popular this fragrance was. So yeah, and it's like one of like the cheaper end fragrances. Like I got a set of two for like $70, which is really, really good. Like a set of two um, 1.7 ounces because they only come in the side, which is a really good deal. Next up, I have like a little like travel size. I have another travel size of a different fragrance. I don't know where it is, but I will talk about that one. I'll put it up on the screen later. But um, this right here is Mugler Alien Goddess. So this isn't the full size bottle. This is a travel size bottle. Um, this is actually a birthday gift from my friend Nelly. She actually got me a few other fragrances, but they didn't agree with my body chemistry. So I exchanged them for this as well as Donatella Born in Roma. Um, but this is my favorite Mugler fragrance that I have ever smelled. If you do not like Mugler fragrances, this is the exception. You will really like, maybe even love this one. So this is a warm amber floral fragrance. So the note, top notes in here are coconut water, bergamot, jasmine, heliotrope, bourbon vanilla, and cashmere. Cashmere is a very cozy scent, and also it's vanilla. It's like salted bourbon vanilla, and I really like that. And the coconut water and jasmine really, really help. So this is typically what I would go for when it comes to a floral. It's like a sweet floral, but it's not super sweet to the point that it's almost candy-ish. It's just like a good, like sweet, floral um it's not an offending scent like i feel like if you're around people who are like very sensitive to fragrance like you just spray a light layer and like by the time like if you wait a while it becomes a skin scent but um yeah this is not going to be an offending scent to you if you do not like mugler favorite mugler fragrances um I feel like this is the exception and you should smell it for yourself because when I first smelled this, when I first saw this, I was like, oh, it's another Mugler scent. It's going to smell like the other ones, but this doesn't. So this is the exception to the Mugler animosity. So definitely pick it up if you can. So the next fragrance that I have, I have no idea where it is. It is not with the rest of my perfumes, but I will stick a picture of it up here. It is Valentino Donna Born in Roma. Um, this fragrance um, was one of like, it's in a little um, travel size. It was a birthday present. Um, Nelly, thank you. Um, and I like, I've heard a lot of good things about Donna Born in Roma. A lot of people like really like it. So I decided to like, I, I just wanted to try it out, you know? Um, so the top notes in here are black currant, pink pepper, bergamot, jasmine sandback, jasmine, jasmine tea, bourbon, vanilla, cashmere, and guayac wood. Um, Donna Born in Roma is not my favorite smell. Um, it's not bad, but it's not good either. Um, to me, it's very heavy on the jasmine for sure. And like the jasmine pair with the with the woodiness of the guayac wood, it's not my favorite. Um, but yeah, like I wouldn't necessarily purchase a full size of Donna Born and Roma. I think like once I'm done with the travel size that I have, I would probably not buy it. It's not a really eye catching scent to me or nose catching scent to me. Um, it smells great on other people, just not on me. So, um, but I also picked that up. I don't know where mine is, like my little travel size is, but I do have it somewhere. <laughs> 
I've just been rearranging, clearing stuff out, so I have no idea where it is. But yeah, it's not like great, but it's not bad either. It just kind of like falls in the middle and it kind of falls flat to me, so yeah. So the next fragrance I have is the Lancome Idol L'Entente. This is the intense version of Lancome Idol and it smells completely different. Lancome Idol is a clean floral. This is kind of like a spicier woody floral, but I really, really like it a lot. So the top notes in here is bitter orange and mandarin orange. The middle notes are Turkish rose, grass rose, Egyptian jasmine, jasmine sandback, regular jasmine, and musk. And then the base notes are patchouli, cashmere wood, acacia, Madagascar vanilla, cedar, and sandalwood. So you do really get like the floral notes with the jasmine and the rose. I can smell them. They're very prominent in here. And then obviously you get the cedar and sandalwood in here as well. I like to pair this with again like something kind of like on the sweet side just to kind of help balance the woodiness out for me it's it's not as woody to me as super amber is but it is quite woody but it's an enjoyable kind of woody floral really 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 like this one a lot it's different packaging than the original one and it only comes in one size um the original one comes in three different sizes but this one only comes in one Obviously, I've used a significant amount of this already. Really, really like this one. They have released a new one called Aura, Idol Aura. Um, I smelled that one, wasn't like wowed by it. So yeah, I wasn't wowed by Aura. So, but yeah, I really like this one in the original. Um, if you haven't picked that up, if you like florals, definitely pick this up in the original one. So last but not least, we have the Tom Fords. All right, I'm gonna start off with this one. So this one right here is Tom Ford Orchid Lumiere. This is not the original Velvet Orchid. Velvet Orchid is actually my favorite Tom Ford perfume out of the ones that I own. Um, it's a very like, it's an orchid smell, but it's like, it's a really nice like warm spicy floral this is kind of like the more lighter more daytime appropriate honeyed version of the original one so the notes in here are rum honey mandarin orange bergamot um for the top notes the middle notes are black orchid rose and jasmine and then the base notes are myrrh vanilla and sandalwood so when you do smell this, you do smell the orchid in here, but to me what really stands out like prominently is the honey. It smells very sweet, but not like sickly sweet. It just smells like very honey, flowery sweet. So really like this. Like I said, it's the daytime version of the original one. So the original one is more nighttime. This is one is more daytime appropriate. So like if you like the original th and you want this one, this is actually very hard to find. Um, this one is, has been long discontinued and I had to hunt the interwebs for this. Uh, I had to hunt long and hard for this. So, but I really, really, really like it. I really like this one. And I'll just wear it by itself or maybe like I'll wear it with, um, like Kaoli Vanilla or I wear it with one of the other two Tom Fords or like Clean Reserve Skin. Um, one of my other perfumes, it's a really good layering perfume. So guys, so next up we have, this has become like one perfume that I've been using a lot recently now that it's becoming colder and it is Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. So, um, Tobacco Vanille is an amber spicy fragrance and it's a unisex fragrance. Um, the top notes in here are tobacco leaf and spicy notes. Uh, the middle notes are vanilla, cacao, cocoa, tonka bean, tobacco blossom, and then the base notes are dried fruits and woody notes. 
to me this is like very very spicy it smells so good yes this was expensive but it was my birthday and i was really 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 wanted it so i got it um this smells so good obviously um in here to me what stands out is like the tobacco and the vanilla and the cocoa it's very chocolatey smelling rich smelling it's very it's a very rich smelling perfume with this you do not need a lot of this trust me you need maybe like two or three sprays and you're good it forms literally a perfume bubble around you you will get stopped with this fragrance you will get stopped with this fragrance um so yeah just a warning um do not spray a lot with this at all um since it's so like potent do not spray a lot with this i really really love it especially because it's vanilla i love a good vanilla note in here the packaging is just beautiful and it's like weighted gorgeous um i've used a, quite a bit of it but not a lot i try not to use a lot because it is so expensive so uh but it's really nice and it layers really really well with other perfumes too i really like layering it with the kaoli um invite only really really nice combo very decadent rich smelling and then i also like to pair um tobacco vanilla with this scent also by tom ford which is plum japanese this has been discontinued it was discontinued at the beginning of last year i hunted for a very long time to find it at a reasonable price still expensive but it was less than retail that's all that mattered so um again it was my birthday so i got it um i love this perfume all right i really 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 like this perfume um i got a decant of this i think maybe like june or july and i was just wearing it and i was getting a lot of compliments and i was like i want a full size bottle it only comes in the 50 and the 240 mil but i was like i'm not spending like 900 dollars on a 240 mil and i'm gonna try um by fire by force to find the 50 mil at a reasonable price because just for this this one is a very popular tom ford fragrance and people were charging an arm and a leg in a spleen and a kidney just to get this so the notes in this fragrance let me pull up fragrance girl. all right come on come on all right so this is a floral fruity fragrance that is made for women um i used to really like a lot of fruity floral fragrances when i was in college however they were like the really sweet light fruity florals and my nose has completely changed this is very rich very deep very succulent of a fruity floral so the top notes in here are cinnamon and saffron the middle notes are japanese plum plum blossom immortelle liqueur um camellia cypress and then the base notes are agarwood or oud amber benzoin fir and vanilla so like i said this is a very like rich deep fruity floral i really enjoy it primarily for the plum note um that's the same note that is in the shan blue black tulip i like fruity notes but like i like like deep berry fruity notes fruit fr deep berry kind of like fruity notes cherry kind of yeah kind of like that feel and i love this one like i fell in love with it when i smelled that decant um again like i bought it primarily for the plum note i love it and it's very sweet but it's oody at the same time but it's not too like oody woody i really like this one um i've used a significant amount of this it's seeing it like right here and i'm trying not to touch it because guys if i have to get another one of this it's going to cost me a kidney and i don't want to like literally like 
yeah you know what i mean but it's gonna cost me like a kidney because it's so hard to find and if you find it it's ridiculously expensive but um i really like this so i got this um got these two for my birthday and these pair so nicely together tobacco vanilla and plum japonais they pair phenomenally together you, you smell like rich like like rich exquisite decadent like you smell so good with these two so that's it guys um that's all the perfumes that i have bought within the recent months while i was away and i hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know which ones that you like that i showed in this video um let me know any like perfume recommendations that you have that i should pick up i would like to hear like what your latest perfume choices have been like your perfume hauls that you have done let me know that in the comments down below make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel it really helped me out a lot also don't forget to turn on your post notifications for new video uploads that i make i'm trying to like get back into the groove of things so i will be putting out more videos in the coming days um don't forget to follow me on my social media instagram and twitter are at bems ebiola that's where you can find me don't really use snapchat that much anymore um i mostly just use that for my friends so i'm not gonna, even gonna talk about that but yeah i hope you all have a wonderful day wherever you are and i will see you in my next video bye guys